Okay, now for an overview shot of all the action on the layout tonight. Really, really cool. We have had a few issues here, so be prepared. These are extremely long and heavy trains, so... We're doing this on 28 and 30 inch radius curves on the main line. The outside track, which I run on, is 30 inch radius, and the inside track, where Rich's pusher set is, is 28 inch. So, I would say that we're probably pushing the limits here, but, for the most part, stuff is running. I've had issues with my famous switch, as, as usual. And also, one of the NS units still has the factory um, Accumate or whatever those junk couplers are on it, so I've had issues junk. with that. Yeah, junk. But other than those few minor things, there they are again. Oh, that's interesting. You can see the computer sync rolling. Neat. Yeah. All right, back to the NS power. Oh yeah, there's a lot of activity down in the street tonight. Boy, I wonder, it's a Friday night, I wonder if the skid marks are playing. No, they are at my house. Haven't done a good overview in a long time, so this is pretty cool. Look at that NS power. Yep, see, there we go. Couplers, junk. Yep, they are junk. As you can see, we'll zoom right down in on them. There are those crappy plastic couplers. Junk. That actually zoomed in really nice. Alright, so I'll have to fix it. We'll fix it up. See, it won't even couple junk. There we go. That's a nice shot. Well, since I'm doing this, I might as well do a close-up roof view. God bless the 40 series. 3SD40-2 high nose and the GP40Xs, which was the experimental, basically, um, SD50, essentially. They were built in 1977. They have flared radiators, just like an SD45. And they have the new, improved, or so they thought, 645F engine rated at 3500 horsepower but as it turned out they did have issues with it because they were pushing it beyond its capability 